do you FaceTime with your family at all? No. No, no because I, I mean, I would. I have four kids uh -huh. that I love and adore, and they will never pick up a phone call from me. Forget about FaceTime. They don't pick, do kids talk on the phone anymore? I see young people out here. You are right. talk? You text, Quinta Brunson, text. I'm like, hey girl, she's like, can you text me? None of them, my kids, I'm telling you what, I could be on fire and my kids would not call to even, they'll, they'll be like this, what's up? What's up, one word. That's it, what's up? Oh no. Yeah. Wow, and then you're a single mom, like what was it like raising your kids? You have four kids. Four kids and most of them are almost all the way grown. Um, you know, it's like being, you know, it's being a single mom is you gotta be tough. You gotta like, I have three boys and a girl. Ooh. My girl was a delight. A lot of people will be like, oh, teen girls, they're a nightmare. Like, I'm so that. sorry. Okay. She was a doll, she still is. She's getting her PhD in psychology. Oh. She's a good girl. <laughs> I'm very lucky. She's real smart, always sweet. The boys are, they're great. I mean, one of them is a musician. He's, uh, he makes a living at it. He's a writer, producer, so that's a blessing. Um, probably moving back home next month, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because he broke up um, with somebody. But the, the twins, the youngest ones, uh -huh. I had to kind of be the father figure to them because right. their dad wasn't as involved. My, my um, older two, the dad is great. He's my first, the one who loves you. Okay. The one I'm trying to fix you up with. But um, <laughs> he's, he's great, he's my best friend. But the younger ones didn't have that, and so I filled in for that. And you know, people think that if you're in a movie or they know you from something, that you're a gazillionaire. Right. Cheryl Lee Ralph and I had a similar situation coming up because they see Sister Act 2 or they see The Parent Trap. Um. They think we're making money every time that airs. It's not like that. We were both struggling single mothers in a very expensive town of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So we've been, I think both of us taken gigs that made us the money we needed to make to support our children. That's the priority. It might not be, is this job gonna get me an Oscar, an Emmy, right. or anything like that? Is, am I gonna put food on the table? And with the boys, I had to be around, because they were in high school, I wasn't gonna be an absent mother. So I had to not take any movies or anything that was gonna take me away. So I was a radio host for three years here in Los Angeles. So I could pick them up from school and make sure they were on the straight and narrow. Well, it worked out for yeah. you. Yeah. A mother is gonna make a way, that yeah. is for sure. My, my audience members knew all about my kids because I talked about them all the time. I called them the twins, I called them the Vikings. I said it was like, because raising them was like raising Vikings, as they would be like, you know, raiding the kitchen and yes. pillaging the villages. That sounds like boys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's a wreck in everything in their path. So <laughs> they, I still have people saying, oh, how are the Vikings? You know, they on online. But, you know, it was a good job. I liked it. I, I like all of the performing jobs I've yes. done. Yes, and you started out in comedy. Like, yes. So that made you a cool mom, right? Oh. What was that like? No. No? <laughs> Everybody in this audience would think, I wish my mom was Jesse from The Parent Trap. I wish my mom did stand up comedy. It's not, not your like own kid. Because you're never cool. How about your kids? kids? You know, I'm never cool. Exactly right. Mom, don't embarrass me. Exactly right. It's like, why are you trying to be funny? <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. It's like, oh, do you have to stop dancing? Right. Yeah. What age is it that that stops and you're cool again? Or is there an age? I'm still trying to hit that. Uh oh. <laughs> Um, I don't, I think my oldest always thought I was cool. He actually travels with me, like when I go on the road doing stand-up and stuff. He, he was a baby when I started, because I was an actress when I went to New York yeah. to, you know, be an actor, but then I got pregnant and I went, oh, okay. Well, I guess I better get on stage and do stand-up. I had, I had friends that said to me, you need to do it by this date. It mm -hmm. was like the height of the comedy boom. And they held me to it. They said, you need to get up on a stage and do stand-up. And I did it for the first time on the, on the date that we arranged. I was supposed to do three minutes. I had about an hour's worth of material. They wound up letting me go because I was killing for about 12 minutes. So they, they are, yeah, and they are responsible. People don't know in the comedy world, that's like a big deal because they give you this much amount of time. But I was doing really well. And uh, he, was, he was the one I would practice in front of. He was like a year old and I'd walk around and do my act. And so he would grab a spoon and go, I do comedy, ah, and just yell. Oh my goodness, well yeah. he was a good coach and a good listener because yeah. look and at he your thinks I'm now. cool, but the other ones I'm not so sure. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. 
And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.